Okay, so I just checked my camera and we have some disturbing pictures on there as far as trespassers as a father's son. That's what's disturbing to me about it is that a father's bringing their little boy on someone else's property during the middle of muzzleloader season. Super dangerous. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys the pictures and uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, I just got up here to the creek property and um, I have a little dilemma on my hands. My camera, I've been having issues with it. The camera, the cell camera that I thought got stolen out in the refuge, it had quit sending me pictures about a week and a half ago. I came out and changed the batteries and it's still doing that. So I'm gonna go up there and check to see if it's still there. If it is, I'm gonna pull it out. Uh, hopefully it's there and pull out. But we actually had trespassers up on the ridge two different times now. Um, so we gotta try to figure it out. I gotta get my stuff out off that ridge, I think, and kind of just stay, stay out from there. Uh, maybe go up there during rifle season and hunt, but get my expensive things like the camera out of there. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. And then we're going to go down below the creek, cross creek, and start and check all the cameras. I'm going to move a camera, set it up over on a big scrape that I found, and kind of just go from there and look look over everything. Because it's been a, over about a week since we've been out here. And um, there's no telling what's been going on within a week of not coming out to the creek property. But I'm going to walk up here and look at the, look up here, look down, look down here at the, the green field to see if there's any deer down there. I don't see none. So let's go up to this ridge first to see if the camera's there. If it is, we'll pull it out and um, kind of go from there. Then we'll go across the creek and do all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. This is our creek property that we've been doing a lot of deer hunting on. And uh, well, we haven't been up here in about a week. We're kind of letting it kind of die down from the youth rifle and muzzleloader hunt. And then in a couple weeks during Thanksgiving time, I'll bring the girls back out here to try to get them on a buck. Um, but let's get busy seeing what's going on around here so right now it's just um bow only deer season here in oklahoma but like i said in about two weeks it'll be rifle season hey oh, and a big shot to my father-in-law randy he fixed the ranger starts right up let's go i hope my camera's there and um, i gotta figure out what's going on with it because we've been having too many issues with it over the last year since last November so let's go see if it's there I just saw it looked like that wild dog that wild dog that was across the creek um, during muzzleloader that I didn't shoot I am packing though I swear I just seen it right on that ridge over there keep biting me ass crazy Had to be it, had to be. I'm gonna say if the camera's gone, the blind's probably gone too. We're getting up here. Well, I see the blind. Wow. That's crazy. I don't see the camera. 
first, it's like, did someone flip my blind over? Check this out. Okay, the camera's there. I see the camera. My blind. It tells me that good windstorm we had a couple days ago uh, flipped it all over. Luckily, it's right here. I may end up just, I may just take it with me now. I think I want to. I'm going to pull this down and um, abandon this spot since we are having trespassers just on the other side. So there's some... Um, Native American land over here that then is my property. But I got a trail going to my property. Um, I stay on my property the whole time, but the land's right here. And um, I've heard two different times a uh, four a uh, four wheeler or a ranger on our ridge over there. So just to be on the safe side, I want to move this. I'm gonna, my camera, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm, I'm not going to abandon the whole hillside for say, but we're going to move it down about 100 yards, anyways. And to maybe put a tree stand up, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this tree or this blind with me since it wasn't staked down all the way and the wind blew it. So let me get it loaded up. Well, that was loud. Any deer on this ridge or wild dogs probably gone. I think I'm going to drive up this trail and see if I can see where the trespassers are hunting at. Yeah, let's go up there. Okay, there's no trash or nothing left here. The chair. All right, let's go see if we can see where those people are messing around at on the property. I haven't even driven the Ranger over here, just my Bobcat. But my property line right there, there's a fence. Yeah, there's a trail. We're gonna park it right here and walk down this trail. This may be the better ridge anyways where to hunt. That's why they're hunting over here. But let's walk down this. This is where I, this is the top of the ridge where I just seen that wild dog. I think was the wild dog. So we'll keep our senses about. Found a fresh rub right there. Just seen a rub right there, a little rub. See my trail I made. I just throw the bobcat through here. Let's walk up here on top. I'm seeing some good rubs up here. I think I was hunting the wrong ridge, and that's why these guys are over here hunting because this is a better ridge. No one's probably the previous owner probably never was up on this ridge ever because it's if you don't have access, he didn't have access like we do now. Um, it'd be a, it'd be a terrible hike and climb through all the thick stuff. So these people may be hunting this for years. I don't know. But there's a really fresh rub. You can see how green it is still. That's probably been the last couple of days. The buck's been here rubbing. I don't know if I have service here. I actually bought another cell cam just because the other one's been messing up so much. I have service here too. So this may be where I need to be, but I gotta see if I see anyone stand or anything and then address that situation. Let's walk up here. It's 
So what's cool about it is I can use my app to find my property line and all that. It helps out so much to make sure you're on your own property. All right, I'm gonna walk around up here for a minute and see what I see. Well, found a nice new scrape right on the edge of the property with some um, rubs all through here. This is right on the right on my property line. I haven't found anything that was obvious where the trespasser has been. So I think we're gonna clear as far as like, I think they're just coming up here and sitting down on the ground and hunting off the ground because I don't see any tree stands or blinds or anything like that. So that's that's actually a plus, I guess. At least they just haven't well make it well established their spot back here. Uh, but okay, let's get in the go back up to the ranger and get out of here. Let's get the camera out. I think thankfully it's not gone. Thankfully it's not gone, but this camera hasn't been very reliable. But I did buy another one just like it, just to try it, because when it works, it works, but when it doesn't, it doesn't. So it's kind of pointless when it's not working all the time. Um, yeah. All right, let's go. My big deer blind down here is gone. And it was staked down good. Oh wow. I don't know if you guys just seen that or not, but it looked like to be a big hawk had a squirrel in its talons. I seen where it landed in the tree. I'm gonna walk over here and then we're gonna come back and see what's going on with this blind. Who's had a nest? Well, that's right in here. That was pretty cool. I doubt I caught it on the GoPro. see him now he could have flew off again that was really neat it was a pretty good size squirrel too okay there's only two things that this could be this could have happened well, three. It blew off somewhere, which I doubt it because it was staked down really well. Someone stole it, or my buddy Bo came and got it. Um, I knew he was going to get one of them, and uh, this might have been it. Let's see. Yeah, it's gone, gone. Completely gone. It's not over here. Okay, because it was right there, overlooking this food plot. And uh, I'll text him when we get out of here. I assume he came and got it. I'm going to check this little edge of a field right here. I put a bunch of corn out here a couple weeks ago and it's all gone. Yeah. This looks really good though. The food plot we got in. I really need to get a camera down here just staked in the middle and just see what kind of activity we got going on the food plot now that the colder weather is coming in. I'm, I'm assuming once all the acorns drop and they eat them all up then the food plot is going to be a prime spot for the does to come out, come out at night and right at evening and morning to eat on. There's a lot of, tra there's a lot of tracks. Tons of tracks in here. Okay, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to text my buddy when I get out of here. I have no service down here right now, but when I get out of here, I'm going to text him. I bet you he came got it. I'm hoping he did anyways. All right, let's go across the creek. Ok, 
Okay, I'm down in a pretty prime spot. We've seen several bucks down here. I actually hunted this the last day of muzzleloader and I got some footage I didn't show you guys because I didn't do a complete video because um, I didn't harvest a deer. But I got a picture of a, um, I got a video of doe, a doe coming in and a buck coming into the checker and then the feeder goes off and scares them off. So let me show you that video right now. Wasn't that cool? That was right here I'm at right now. Um, I'm just trying to get in here and get out, but that buck, it was a nice buck. It was a nice buck. It'd be a really good one for the, the girls to get to. This feeder is almost out. It'll be a really nice buck for the girls to get. Um, so I wasn't going to shoot it, but it was cool watching it for a minute. I'm going to check this camera, and then we're going to go to the next camera. Okay, that's strange. They uh, they wiped this corn out. 
completely wipe this spot out. And what's odd about this, I wasn't getting any um, pictures down here following the week before. This is where the dog was at. And um, after the dog came in, I didn't get pictures for like a week. So it's been a week since then, I think, around there. All the corn's gone, so let's, we should have a lot of pictures on camera. I'll show them to you guys if I do. So some of these pictures, the time's off. Um, so if you see a picture and it shows the wrong time or date or a year ago or whatever, it's because they're not right. Sometimes it resets itself. It's weird. I got one more spot we're going to go to. It's the spot where Hadley got her nice eight point and where Bo killed that big 11. I will say this, just found a fresh scrape right on the road I came down and there was another one up there by the line on the week ago. So he's making, they're making a, their line right through here. So this is probably going to be a hot spot when you be sitting in during rifle. And it's got, the leaves are starting to fall like crazy now so you can see a lot better. That's a good scrape. There was a ranger parked up here. Man, that wind did a number on my hunting spots with these blinds. say this I'm glad I came down today to check everything um, and not like just come hunting because that blind has got blown about 30 yards away I'm gonna check this camera uh, I've still got corn on the ground um, but like a quarter left of 50 pounds so they've been in here eating I put a salt lick out here too this is this has been a big buck country right here that that sucks that that blind did that too uh, that's the blind uh, Brandon, my buddy Brandon, put out here. And it's, it's hard to get stakes in here. I gotta get some big stakes to stake these down in this rock. The little cheap stakes they come with, you just can't get them in here. We'll have to deal with that. Okay, that's all the SD cards I got. I was gonna put one of these cameras up on um, that big scrape, but I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna do a different day. I gotta deal with this real quick before it gets dark. That made me nervous though when I came around that corner. I seen that. I thought it was the back of a ranger parked here. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to deal with these guys trespassing on our place. Just <laughs> being paranoid, I guess. But it really looked like that. I can't believe this thing didn't get ripped open. That makes me wonder if the blind over there is just off somewhere. I'm hoping at this point Bo just got it. All right, I'm going to set this down. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it up right where it's at. Because I don't have stakes to stake it back up. Just like this. That way the deer, because I don't plan on hunting this for another week or so, and I'll get back out here in a few days. And at least a deer will maybe get used to it. Because I'm kind of wanting to move positions back here anyway. So this may be a good opportunity to do that. Alright, let's go back up top. That's the uh, scrape I was wanting to put a camera up on. I just don't have the extra camera right now. I didn't want to move up from those spots. 
that's a big one. <laughs> that was there last year too when we bought the property. When I was scouting, uh, I found a scrape line right there. Okay, let's get out of here, go back to the house, check these cameras, see what all we got on camera. Try to figure out this cell cam. Text Bo, see if he's got the blind and go from there. Hopefully we got some big bucks and a lot of activity on these cameras though, on these SD cards. All right, I'll see you back at the house. Okay, so I just got done checking the camera and what I found was somewhat disturbing, but we also have some cool pictures too of some big bucks. Um, but let's get right into the trespassing thing. Um, what I got on camera was a father and a little boy, a son. And that is super concerning, disturbing to me because um, they're walking around private property and it's not like this is my land, get it, get off because I don't want no one on it. It's not that, um, that has a little bit to do with it, no. Um, but the, the main thing of it is, is because it's super dangerous because we have, you guys know if you've been following the channel, we have usually have several hunters at once out there. And um, if, and we all know where we're at, we're communicating, um, we're communicating with walkie talkies and such. Um, so we know where one another's at at all times. Um, while I'm talking, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you guys some pictures I got too. Um, while I'm talking, you guys can enjoy the big bucks and stuff. And I'll, I'll put pictures of the trespassers up here. I'm gonna cover the boy's face. He's young, innocent. The dad is the one that is responsible. Um, but you can see I, I didn't even get his face uh, cut off right here, unfortunately, because I want to know who these people are. Um, just so I can talk to them and say, hey, look, we have a lot of hunters out here all the time. Um, you guys know you're not supposed to be here that or he do, he knows um, The land is where they came in at. I'm assuming they came in at it's marked They know that it's private property. They obviously seen my at least one of my blinds They found the corn pile the mineral lick. I'm surprised they didn't steal the camera um, I know they had to see it. they walked right by it obviously. So thanks for not taking the camera Because um, I got to see the big bucks on there and um, see you guys so that's the dilemma I in. That's the dilemma that I'm in is that as rifle season comes up in the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to have to be dealing with this quite a bit. But it's super dangerous, like I said earlier, because if we don't know someone's walking around their property while we're hunting and we shoot in that direction, not knowing someone's over there at a deer and, and not knowing someone might be over there in the brush or whatever, it's just a super dangerous situation to have random people walking around your property, um, especially during muzzleloader season and a rifle season. Those are both rifles, um, for say. So um, we're gonna have to, I don't know what we're going to have to do. Um, I want to find out who, who these people are, like I said, so I can talk to them and say, hey, you guys need to stay off the property. Um, they're come, I'm pretty sure they're coming in from um, the Indian, Indian, Cherokee Nation Indian property. But we didn't think we would have that big of an issue because it's really far deep in there. But I haven't been over there really exploring to see if there's roads or what. So I don't know where they really came from exactly. Um, the direction that they're walking from is from our creek, right in the middle of the property. And this isn't the where I caught these um, where I caught these um, trespassers at. Wasn't where I initially heard two different times. I heard them um, riding their four wheeler and stuff. This was a um, complete opposite side of the property where i wasn't really expecting anyone to walk in right there so that just tells me they can be coming from anywhere um, so we're gonna have to be vigilant and just keep eyes alert and um, just pay attention to what we're what we're doing when we're hunting out there and um, it's just unfortunate that we're gonna have to deal with this but i've said this before in the past it's probably gonna take us a good year or two to get everyone lined out that are used to sneaking in on this property or hunting it or whatever um, to know that there's new owners and um, we don't allow random people on the property if we can prevent it. Um, so leave me your suggestions down below how I should go about dealing with this because I do have a picture of the boy and um, he could be identified pretty easily I would assume um, but I want to talk to the dad. Um, but you guys see the picture on there I didn't show the boy's face. Um, yeah I don't know but <laughs> trespassers seem to follow us wherever we go it's crazy i know um, the thing about us is that we document our life on youtube so you guys get to see a lot of the trespassers and things like that when in reality if we weren't documenting it 
we still would have the trespassers. You guys just wouldn't know about it, if that makes sense. So we get comments all, you got a lot of trespassers. Well, you guys probably do too if you own a large piece of property, you maybe just don't know about it. Maybe you don't got cameras out or you're not out exploring and stuff. So what I'm gonna be working on soon is I'm gonna try to get all my no trespassing signs put up and I'm gonna buy probably like four or five more cameras and just put them up in random spots on trails and roads. I know people like power lines that people are coming in. Um, just so I can monitor the situation and uh, try to put it, try to stop this before um, someone gets hurt. We don't want someone on our property that they could potentially get hurt. And you know how the world is nowadays. Everyone's so happy and they come back and sue us um, for something that we're not even responsible for. We just own the property. So, all right. Ho hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.